ஹலோ என்ரி வான் ஐ ஆம் சி அக்ஷத்த உடுப்பா வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை யூடியூப் சேனல் மெனி ஆஃப் அஸ் ஹாவ் வெரி குட் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிஸ் வித் அஸ் வி நோ வென் டு என்டர் பட் வி ஃபேஸ் ட்ரபிள் இன் டிசைனிங் ஆஸ் டு வேர் வி ஹாவ் டு எக்ஸிட் ரைட் மெனி ஆஃப் தி டைம்ஸ் வி என்டர் அட் சி ஒன் தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் தென் வி சி தி ஸ்டாக் கோயிங் ஹையர் வி சி இட் கோயிங் டு ஒன் தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டிஸ் and at 1020 we are in a dilemma as to whether we have to exit there or should we hold it further if at all we exit at 1020 then we see that the stock will go up to 1030 within few seconds and if at all we think the stock might move little more and if we wait then most of the times we see that stock comes down to around 980 Uh, after we wait right so this is something which most of us have already gone through or we are going through uh, in our day to day trades right if you have also experienced the same then type yes in the comment section below so today in this video i am going to share with you some parameters which you can adopt while deciding your target that is you can adopt these parameters while deciding as to at which point you will have to exit knowing the exact entry point is not sufficient to uh, take successful trades because where you have to exit at which point you have to exit is also a deciding factor to finally impact your profits so if you want to end in green at the end of the month then you should also be aware as to which is a right point for you to exit now this will apply for both intraday trades of uh, positional trades as well as even if you're holding any stock for long term still the same thing applies so today let us see a uh, three different ways which can uh, help you in deciding as to where you have to exit in uh, most of my videos you have already learned many strategies which uh, have worked for me and which i have shared to uh, you people so that it can help you but yeah uh, no strategies works 100% even the parameters which i will share now might not work on each and every cases okay but most of the times this will help you in taking the right decisions so yeah the first thing which uh, i want to share with you is that if you are a swing trader or a positional trader then exit at flat 15% keep your target at 15% because most of the times if your stock selection is good then stock will move till 15% at least till 10% if you are at the very beginning stage then keep the target at 10% if a stock reaches 10 to 12% you can directly exit or uh, once you are good in your uh, selecting the stocks once you are good in selecting the right stocks for swing trades or uh, positional trades then you can go up to 15% depending upon your confidence so keep it between 10 to 15% so that you will end up in profits if you become very much greedy and keep on waiting then most of the times you will end up losing money so if you are doing swing trade or positional trades then keep flat target of around 15% that is max to max 15% no um you might ask can we do this for intraday trading also no this is not possible in case of intraday trades because uh, uh in intraday trades you will have to be very quick in entry and exit right you cannot simply hold a particular stock and wait most of the time what happens is we will enter intraday trade then we will just hold that position thinking that tomorrow our target might reach and later it will become positional trades and then swing trades and maybe it might become our, our long term investment also so this should never happen so in intraday trades we are not setting any flat uh, percentages as our targets because it's uh, never going to work or uh, instead you will decide what will be your stop loss and based on the stop loss you will decide your risk reward ratio so it can be 1 is to 1 1 is to 1.5 1 is to 2 depending upon your uh, uh, strategy okay so now if you are a swing trader or positional traders you have another option to look into that is you can check out our trading insight community this is a trading insight community uh this is a community wherein you can learn collectively it is always more effective when you learn in group rather than learning individually so here we will be sharing whatever uh, stocks or uh, whenever we see some good opportunity we will be sharing it here and you can also post your comments on this so you can see uh, here we also post the expected targets that is you can directly keep these percentages as your targets and you can wait 
uh, until the required return is met or if you uh, want to if you have to exit early then uh, that will also be mentioned over here so along with that uh, you people can also post your learning so that other others can also get some benefit out of it and you will have also have option to comment here or give your opinion on others post all this can be done through this community so if you want to join this community you can join using the link that is given in the description also if you are new to trading and if you want to open a trading account you can open it either with zeroda upstocks or alice blue using my referral link my referral link is given in the description if you open an account using my referral link then you will get free access to my Haikanashi course. Now let us check the second option which you can use to setting the targets. That is you can go by patterns. You already know in technical analysis that uh, charts form different patterns and if you can get some exact patterns the patterns are more effective than any other strategies. You can directly go about in place the orders if you get the proper or exact patterns now for example if we take today's uh, nifty bank chart you can see here uh, at this level double bottom is formed right it's very clear a very clear uh, double bottom pattern is formed over here you can see the two bottoms so whenever you see such double bottom pattern being formed it is expected that the um, index or stock in whichever you are trading is going to give some good movement. So here since this double bottom pattern is formed at this level you can directly go about and buy. You can trade in futures or you can go for buying of options that is you can buy a call. Okay. Now when this happens it is very easy for you to set the target. It is expected that when you find such movements like this okay this from this point if you buy you can easily reach target up to this level okay but here again it is very important for you to check if there is any strong resistance levels because blindly if you uh, go by you know pattern trading then sometimes it might not work okay and so if you clearly observe um, many times bank nifty has taken support at this level initially right around this level nifty has taken support many times here you can see once it took support again here that is at this level there was lot of uh, sideways movement happening so this can now act as a strong support level so what you can do is if you enter over here if your buy position is somewhere at this point then at this level you can keep the target or even if you see this pattern it will end at somewhat same level so this can be your target so based on the patterns you can easily set your targets now this applies both for intraday as well as for swing trades now if we check one stock say hdfc bank okay now here if you check you can see a pole being formed here if you are aware of this uh, flag and pole pattern then easily you can see a pole is formed and then here a flag is formed right and then you saw a breakdown happening so here you can go about and short or you can trade in futures or options also so when you see such breakdown it is expected that this pole length what we can uh, see over here the same will be met that is if i just clone this uh, pole we can just see movement up to this level around uh, 2630 is expected but you can also see that here there is a very good support level right here at this level so uh, we cannot expect uh, the stock to move below this because one reason is this is very strong support level another is uh, if you have to clearly draw it then it is 2650 so 2650 is again a psychological level that is whenever you come across levels like uh, 2600 2650 2700 such 50 50s or hundreds then you have to be very careful at this level you can see exactly at this level stock took support and started moving upwards now we don't know this can be a pullback again stock might fall and come to this level but to be on a safer side we can keep our targets at this level and safely exit okay so along with the pattern if you are able to combine few more things like this then setting the target will be very easy for you and uh, it's okay even if you make little less still you will be exiting in profits 
so this is a second way of setting the targets now let us also check the third way of setting the targets that is you exit a little early but with low risk that is if we i take nifty chart now uh, let us assume that uh, you have uh, you are a price action trader and somewhere at this point you decided to go long okay so here you saw a breakout and you entered here now ideally speaking if you enter somewhere at this point and keep your stop loss just below the swing low and if you go by say 1 is to 2 rr ratio which most of the traders go for then your target will be somewhere at this point right and in this trade the target is easily met but there will be many traders who will be working on this setup because we have many price action traders many successful players who use price action for their trades or uh, any strategy we take most of the times price action is something which we will definitely look into so there will be many people who will be are uh, keeping the target somewhere at this point or 1 is to 3 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3 as their uh, target ratios so what we can do is when we keep our stop loss at this point instead of directly taking 1 is to 2 as your uh, risk reward ratio you can bring it slightly down say you can bring it to 1 is to 1.7 or 1.8 here also you can see uh, there is a very res uh, strong resistance level at this point or somewhere at this point so you can slightly bring your targets down here you can see there is resistance level as well so instead of keeping exactly 1 is to 2 as your target you can slightly bring your target down and though you lose some small points you will also have low risk so the chances of your target being achieved is also more so uh, by doing this your uh, Uh, success rate will definitely increase you also have another option that is join in my uh, telegram group that is udupa finance here uh, i will be sharing the levels in the morning and just show you that as well here i will be sharing the levels in the morning uh, you can check here this is for bank nifty you can check for nifty as well so along with your targets that you have placed you can check out these levels also your target can be nearest if your target is somewhere near to this level then you can keep these levels as your targets because these are the levels that can act as strong uh, resistance or strong support depending upon the movement so um whenever you take an entry or uh, nearing to these levels these levels can act as your targets that can also be Uh, one of the way of setting the targets so if you want to join this telegram channel that is udupa finance the link is there in the description using the link you can join here i will be sharing a uh, various levels and whatever i learn throughout the day will be posted there so yeah these were all different ways that you can use in setting your targets so from now on maybe you will not regret for early exit or for waiting too long So if you like this video please give it a like and share it with your friends who are traders and who are finding it difficult to exit at the right point. If you are watching this video without subscribing my YouTube channel then please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. I will be back again with the interesting content very soon. Till then take care. Bye bye.